made in your ACM starter project folder. The coding example for this project is in the Art and Science of Java in Chapter 2. It's all coded up for you. All you had to do was copy it. Take a look at the way this thing is set up. When we put a new GOval or a new GRECT onto the canvas, all we have to do is type add new GOval. The first two numbers are the size of the object or the dimensions of the object and the second two numbers need to be placed on the canvas. Well, there's another way you can do this. For example, let's say that I wanted to make one of these ovals a color. That might seem like a reasonable thing to do or maybe one of the rectangles I might want to make it a color so my robot guy isn't quite so boring. Where is my robot guy? He's around here somewhere. Um, yeah, there he is. Let's say I wanted to actually make his body blue. Well, let's take a look at the code here. I've got three G rectangles right here and I want to make one of them blue. Well, this is the way I would call a method on a G rectangle. I'd have to import java.awt.color or just java awt with the wildcard to use the color. But I'm getting an error code here. I wonder why. Let's hover over it and see. Let's put that over there. Um, it says, cannot make a static reference to the non-static method set color color from the type object, which is totally confusing. What does this mean? Well, cannot make a static reference. Static means it's unchanging, okay? So when you have a G oval, it's only one G oval. It's like the big G oval. It's not a G oval that I've set up to be able to do anything to. So it's static. And my program actually doesn't know which one of these G-Rects it's supposed to set the color to. There's three of them here. So which one does she mean? Well, that means that you have to set these up so that they have their own special names. And there's a way you can do that here. Let's check it out. You can set up constructors so that they're actually named something and they are now objects that you can, I'll just copy this from over here, um, manipulate and use. So let's say instead of adding new G oval like that, I did it like this. G oval robot head equals new G oval, and then I put it at the coordinates I wanted to put it at. So instead of setting Actually, now I'm changing the color of the G-Oval robot head. Sorry about that, guys. I hope you're not getting confused here. So instead of setting it up to change the G-Oval, which I can't do, because that would be like changing all of the G-Ovals in the entire universe, what I can do is I can go like this. Robot head. Set color. Color blue. And now my program knows what the heck I'm actually trying to do. So let's say if I wanted to do it with one of the body parts and I went G-Rect. Um, I have no idea which one of these is which, but let's just try this here. Body of robot. This may very well end up being one of the legs. I don't know. Um, oh, we don't want to do that. Equals new G-Rect. So in this way, I'm instantiating a new G-Rectangle out of the big G rectangle factory in the sky. So I'm going to go 160 and 80 and 110 and hope that that's actually what I'm, and it may not be, and we'll just comment that one out like that. G rect body of robot. Um, it doesn't seem to be really happy about that for some reason, but that's okay. This should be okay. Let's go like this. Robot body dot set color color dot oh and why don't we make this one oh I don't know let's go black 
And then we have to make a semicolon here. And I don't know why it's not being very happy about Oh, because I haven't named it correctly, have I? Body of the top. There we go. OK, so now everything seems to be happy for whatever reason. OK, so let's run that and see what we get. Nope, I forgot to close this one. Let's close that one. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. Oh! You know what? That's really stupid. The thing is, is that there's this whole thing you... <laughs> I forgot all about this in ACM. You have to um, set the fill color. Let me fix that. You can't just set the color. You have to set the fill color. I think. I may have to um, stop the movie for a couple of minutes to get this fixed. Oh, well. It's always refreshing when your teacher makes a mistake, isn't it? The whole point of this was to teach you guys this concept, and you may, un yeah, it's still not going to work out really well. I'll have to go back and fix that. Um, there's some weirdness with how you set up color in ACM that I can never remember that's a little bit different than regular Java. We'll fix that in the next video. Um, but this is how you would set up, obviously something happened, it's just not what we wanted to have happen. So if you wanted to set up your own specific things that you could target with method calls, like for example, if I wanted to move it, robothead.move, I could move it a certain distance or put it somewhere else. Um, so it might put it pl one place and then move it another time. Um, I'm not so sure what that'll do. It'd be kind of interesting to see. Well, let me see what that actually does do. Um, okay, so let's get that out of there. And let's run it and see what it does. Yeah, that works a little. Oh, I forgot to. No, it's okay. I think it'll still work. Me, eh, it didn't do anything. I'm just crashing and burning here. But what I'd like you to do is play with just setting up those different kinds of. Um, you know, objects, and let me stop the movie and fix that situation so I can show you how to do this correctly. Stop the 